Hi, Libra. This is Jeffrey. This is Red Color. This is your reading for the week of November 7th through the 14th. Please like, subscribe, share, comment, press the bell for notifications. I offer uh, private readings in person or on Zoom. I'm in Midtown Manhattan. I also offer IET, which I generally do uh, remotely, which is similar to Reiki, but more directed. So. Um, I also have, the, the links are below. Those will lead you to my website, ripecolor.com. I'm a textile artist, so I paint scarves and paintings and t-shirts, et cetera, et cetera. Please visit. And let's get to your reading. I've uh, been doing a lot of readings today. <laughs> I've been doing a lot of readings today. Okay, and I'm gonna keep on going until the sun goes down. Keep on going until the sun goes down. Okay. Let's see what's going on for you, Libra, for this week. Okay. One, two, three. You want to heal something. You want to heal a relationship. You want to heal a relationship and you know how you're going to do it. So this could either be making, reconciling with somebody in your past that you had a weirdness with, or this could also be just really understanding how to make peace with your past. How to make peace with your past. And to really be able to see it in a new light, you know, because maybe there was some some words exchanged and it was not not cute you're ready to move into something new yep definitely two pages yeah i think you're really to let really let it you're willing to heal you're willing to heal which is lovely really lovely yeah you take responsibility for what you did and what you said but you're not taking someone else's responsibility which is really important. There's like a transformation uh, involved. Well, it's Scorpio season, so uh, like everybody is getting transformation. That's what I'm feeling. So, you know, it's not like just because it's Scorpio season, it's just what I'm feeling. Yeah, look at this. So you're willing to take responsibility for your side of the street. And if they do or they don't, that's none of your business. That's none of your business but you owned your side of what you did that might have been a little not not um, not the most loving say but um, you're willing to take responsibility and let it go and let it go right but you're not taking on someone else's stuff you're not doing that which is great which is great yeah you, you learned your lesson you learned your lesson and you're ready to be reborn. You're ready to be, yeah, to see yourself in a new light. Yeah, because this, it's been driving you crazy in your head and uh, you're done with that. You're done with that one more. Yeah, I'm taking on my stuff, but I'm not taking on your stuff. I'm ready to like heal this and be balanced in this and if you choose to meet me halfway that's great but if you don't that's great too but i'm not taking on your stuff it like it's really clear for me in this reading it's really clear because i'm interested in healing the past and moving forward and if you are not interested then you're not interested but i did my part i did my part very powerful, very empowering, actually. Very empowering. Very empowering. Yeah, because you're ready to move into something new and let go of the pain, let go of the grief. That's what you're ready to do. You're ready to let go of the pain and let go of the grief. You're willing to take responsibility, you have strategy, and um, you're ready to be healed. It's as simple as that. And you will be. You know, you're ready and you show up for it. And, you know, the angels come through and, and do what they need to do. 
And if other people want to participate in that and be part of that and take responsibility, that's great. But if they don't, that's great too. It's great too. You know, we can't always um, can't always take everyone with us. Just can't. You know. Simple as that. So, yeah, you need to get back to your balance. You need to get back to your balance and be productive and useful and nurturing and et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And you can, you can. Um, even if the other party or parties are not interested, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter. That's their karma, that's their thing, not your thing. Your thing is your thing. Got me? Yeah, very clear. That was a really clear one. Blessings to you. Thanks for tuning in.